Well, good day. Welcome to today's Living Word. I'm Dwayne Matz. Today's uh, devotion entitled, Father, Forgive Them. They know not what they do. And we're continuing to look at the reign of the wicked king Ahaz. Unlike his predecessors, King Uzziah and Jotham, Ahaz did not do what was right in the sight of the Lord. And I want to look at the specifics. I mean, what is it to not do what is right in the sight of the Lord? Number one, he made molded images of Baals, false gods, idolatry, for people to worship. Number two, he burned incense in the valley of the son of Hinnom. Now, apparently, this valley was the place where child sacrifice was practiced. It was sort of the abortion clinic of the Old Testament, if you will, where innocent lives were sacrificed on the altar of ignorance or convenience. Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. If they knew what they did, they wouldn't do it. Number three, he encouraged moral decline in Judah, Second Chronicles 28, 19. For the Lord brought Judah low because of Ahaz, king of Israel, for he had encouraged moral decline in Judah and had been continually unfaithful to the Lord. And finally, he became increasingly unfaithful to the Lord. Second Chronicles 28, 22 says, Now in the time of his distress, King Ahaz became increasingly unfaithful to the Lord. Now this distress that King Ahaz underwent was a direct result of the judgment of God who had delivered Judah into the hands of Syria and a great many of the people were killed or carried away captive. Yet Ahaz did not change his ways. He did not repent. In fact, he went the other way, becoming increasingly unfaithful, like a snowball on its way to hell. Wow, a lot of bad news here. But it's not all bad news, because in the midst of this great apostasy, God sent his prophet Isaiah, who consistently called the people to repentance. And Isaiah spoke of better days for those who would return to the Lord. Isaiah 4.2 says, In that day the branch of the Lord shall be beautiful and glorious, and the fruit of the earth shall be excellent and appealing for those of Israel who have escaped. Well, the message hasn't changed, my friend. Beautiful and glorious days await those who escape God's judgment by putting their faith in the Messiah. Eternal death and destruction for those who refuse him and choose to continue to be unfaithful. And remember this, there is no sin that Jesus didn't pay for on the cross. I'm Dwayne Matz, and that's today's Living Word.